what time it is. Some of you still just going to sit there because that's all church is to you. You come to listen. Look at your neighbor say, pew potato or participator. Which one? In chairs, recliners. Come on. Or reachers. Preachers preach so people can reach after they hear it preached. Look at your neighbor say, if all you come to church for is preaching. Look at you. Come on. Tell your neighbor say, if all you come to church for is preaching. And you don't have no reaching while you're hearing preaching. That's why you'll leave after hearing preaching and say, I just didn't get nothing out of it. You can go down there if you got it. You can go down there to the local bank and say, hey, I'm not going to make a withdrawal. And they say, you made any deposits? Come on. Because our records show you ain't putting nothing in here. Come on. You ain't invested in. You ain't put nothing in here. Amen. Look at your neighbor. Say if you sit there like a knot on a log. <laughs> Come on with your pew on yourself. Come on, church. <laughs> Hallelujah. And you don't do something with his word and do something with his presence. Praise is called practice in his presence. You leave here. That's why some people can be in the same move of God. The men they're receiving. And the next one right next to them. Nothing. Hallelujah. Somebody say, get your antennas up. You're going to receive something. Hallelujah. See, Luke 16, verse 16, the Bible said, the kingdom of God's preached and every man presseth into it. Somebody say, presseth. God said when my words preached, when my ways are preached, when you hear my precepts and my counsels, my kingdom operation, the way I move and what I'm saying, God said when you hear me saying it, he said you must learn how to press. So I say press. Look at your neighbor say you got to learn how to do some praise reps. You, you got to learn how to bench press. Come on, somebody, some praise. You, you got to learn how to lift him up. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, the God in the name of Jesus, there's some spiritual weights. There's some chains. And here's a good sign. You ain't off the chain. You know, we had planned for these to be up here. I don't know how long we've been up here, but I've used them about every service. Yeah. Psalms 142, verse 7. David said, bring my soul out of prison so I can praise you. If you can't praise him, you're in a prison. But if you ever start lifting up hands, Matter of fact, God says tonight that thing will never bother you again. Never ever again. There's a praise that I 